let's go back to November of 2008 and do a little review. Who would have thought in November of 2008 that in your wildest dreams, the president could accumulate a $5.2 trillion, trillion with a T, dollar deficit in four years? One measure of the financial viability of countries is to measure their debt as a percent of their gross domestic product. Let's, let's talk about uh, where we stand today and compare ourselves to Greece. You know, Greece is the poster child for the things you don't want to do. Once you get to 100% of debt to gross domestic product, you begin to lose control of things. So if you look at Greece, they sort of flitted around the 100% number for four years until they got to 110%. And what happened when they got to 110 it skyrocketed in two years to 143%. So where, where are we headed? Where's the president taking us? Here's the, here's the trajectory we we're on and have been on for four years. If we continue to borrow $1.3 trillion a year, we'll be at 143% of debt to gross domestic product in 4.6 years. So let's go back and project ourselves into where Greece is. We're going to be at this 110% point about election day of this year. This is not something that's going to happen 5 or 10 or 15 years out, folks. I have people tell me after these presentations, I'm worried about my kids and I'm worried about my grandkids, and you really need to be worried about them, and you need to be worried about you. I mean, this, this is a two- or three- or four-year problem. But if we just keep on sitting back, fat and dumb and happy, and saying, we're the United States of America, and international economics doesn't apply to us, you're just kidding yourselves. You're going to, you're going to walk right off the edge of the cliff. What happens when you get to 143% of debt to gross domestic product? Well, in Greece, unemployment jumps seven points from 14 to 21% in one year. Industrial production dropped 11% in 11 months. And the unemployment rate amongst young people went to 48%. So what, what's going to happen with these Occupy Wall Street folks when we have 50% unemployment and no chance of employment? Well, this is what happened in Greece. And this is exactly what's going to happen in the United States. And I'm, I'm here to tell you that if President Obama gets four more years in office, you are not going to recognize the United States of America in four years.